Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP. I'm going to start with this. While everyone talks about price predictions based on market cap, realize the company Ripple has yet to utilize the coin for its intended purpose. The coin has proven stability for years. Imagine when the coin gets backed by an international gold standard. You know, I feel that market cap is no longer relevant as far as XRP because we see what's coming. You could see everything that's happening throughout the world. It's a very big event that's about to take place. The current financial system at some point is going to collapse out, ushering in the new system. It's bigger than previous cycles and it's bigger than market cap. According to the data, Russians bought over 50 tons of gold bars in 2022, 10 times more than the year before. And we know Russia and China are working to de-dollarize the United States. Reported net gold purchases and sales by individual central bank in 2022. Look at how much gold they're buying up. The central banks are buying up and you can't see what's coming in the future. You know, people still sit back and say, oh, I doubt they're ever going to utilize XRP. How can you say that? We know XRP is going to be a major player in that new financial system. People just don't understand how big this really is. Central banks accumulating gold tells you something about our future. My guess, CBDC will be backed by gold, basket of commodities, and a neutral currency asset like XRP would be the exchange medium. The whole new system can't work on XRP ledger only, hence ISO 222 projects. Now, if you're going to diversify, I always tell you, you know, split up your assets, you know, invest a little bit in each one of these ISO coins, because each one is going to play a specific role in that new system. It's not just going to be XRP. It's going to be XLM as well, moving the person to person money, XDC, moving all of that trade money. Then you have QNT, which is the blockchain operating system pulling the whole system together, making it work. Gold and silver will be around. They will be money when the dollar and the euro and the yuan and the rigot are mere memories. Now, once the US dollar totally plummets down, I feel at that point, the stock market and crypto is going to be skyrocketing. So maybe you want to take some profits out. If you're going to cash out, you're not going to be cashing out into the U.S. dollar at that point because it's going to be way down in value. A good place to take crypto is into physical gold and silver. This is what they're referring to. This is nowhere to hide now. Turn your fiat into a commodity such as gold, silver, livestock, or something to barter. Now, we've seen this as far as the dollar to oil ratio and the dollar to silver ratio. Zero. And a lot of people feel that this is the reset. This is the early signs of that reset of the current financial system over to the new financial system. On Friday, Feb the 3rd of February, all Basel IV compliant banks will be functioning on the new quantum financial system and will go public with the new gold asset-backed currency international rates. Now, I believe that Basel IV can be giving problems to the banks because I feel the banks are already in trouble. Now, all of a sudden, they have to have something to back their assets. And I think a lot of banks are going to fail, bail out and bail in. And bank runs as the national debt reaches 31 trillion plus. Will your money be safe in the banks? Now, we've seen what happened with Bank of America, where all of a sudden customers had complained that funds are missing from their accounts. As this goes on, I'm more concerned about the bail ins, where they just kind of seize your money. They make you go fill out an FDIC claim and wait years to get made whole again, if ever. Plus, you could also get stocks that go nowhere. I think the banks have a lot bigger problems than what they're leading on. I think, you know, even the biggest banks in the world right now are having liquidity issues. And Basel IV is not going to help with that either. Russia oil accelerates Asian times. Anti-market measure accelerates economic decoupling and push world from dollar-dominated to multi-currency financial system. 
So the oil price cap of U.S. $60 per barrel for Russian oil is a controversial move by the European Union and G7. The price cap prohibits Western insurers and shipping companies, which account for more than 90% of the marine insurance industry, from servicing vessels that carry Russian oil above $60 per barrel. So the to prevent Russia from profiting from high global oil prices, but provide enough incentive for Russia to continue supplying oil, especially to vulnerable countries in Africa and Asia. Yet the price cap can be destabilized and have unforeseen consequences. Current buyers of Russian oil, namely India and China, can demand even steeper discounts on shipments because they know Russia has limited options. I believe this is why Russia is buying up a ton of gold. I believe China and Russia are working together behind the scenes, and as well as the rest of the BRICS countries. They're coming for the U.S. dollar. They're tired of the U.S. dominating the market, using the dollar as a weapon. Petrodollar on shaky ground. Saudi Arabia willing to discuss selling oil in other currencies. Now, we've seen this talked about a lot. If the petrodollar dies, that's the end. That would be, you'd watch the U.S. dollar value fall drastically, very fast. Hyperinflation can happen as well. Why de-dollarization will be a major trend in 2023? So we know the Ukraine war is the biggest reason nations are moving away from the U.S. dollar. Brazil and Argentina launching plans for a new, new dual currency. How Gulf nations will use RMB to sell oil. The United States has enjoyed more than 70 years of having their currency reign supreme throughout the globe. But too many nations now fear the U.S. could potentially sanction them and want more options. 2023 will be an interesting year as the world enters a recession and is still battling inflation. And I think what's going to happen is, first off, all these countries are going to pull away little by little, more and more. The U.S. dollar will start to plummet. Recession sets in even deeper. I believe we're already in a recession, but I think it's going to get far worse. You got to remember, when the current financial system collapses out, it's not going to be a fun time. The U.S. and NATO is attempting to provoke Russia into World War III and using your tax dollars to do it. This will destroy us. This is not about the Ukraine. The U.S. and NATO could give two shits about the Ukraine. This is about money, power, de-dollarization, and the threat posed to U.S. hedge money. And I said that from day one. They want to keep this war going as long as they possibly can. A lot of people are profiting off of it. Never forget that. XRP does not compete with stablecoins or CBDC, Ripple's senior director of global operations. And that's why all these countries are choosing to work with Ripple. Because XRP does not compete. You know, everybody always says, well, big, Bitcoin's the biggest competitor to CBDC. Yeah, and that's why they're going to make it irrelevant in the future. If there's no, if XRP doesn't pose a comp, any competition to a CBDC, it, it will become easily adopted. When asked whether crypto assets have any chance to survive when more stablecoins start emerging as well as CBDCs from countries, central banks, Ripple's top executives revealed that XRP was not meant to be a competitor of those digital assets. It is the other way around, she stated. XRP is complementary in this case. Since XRP is not struggling to make banks and central financial institutions vanish from the landscape, as Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse explained earlier. That's why every country will utilize it. And that's why I believe 2023 is going to be a massive year for XRP holders. We're finally going to get to see XRP take off in value. As the dollar falls, as everything starts to fall apart more and more, you're going to see XRP rise. And like I said in previous videos, you know, times are going to get really rough as the current financial system collapses you got to remember not everyone is in crypto some people have zero investments at all the rich are still beholden to the u.s dollar wait until they start to see the value of their money fall apart as well that can be the greatest wealth transfer in all of our history so throughout 2023 
we're going to see a renewed shift in financial markets away from the highly speculative assets such as Bitcoin and the mainstream approach towards long-term solutions that solve real problems and meet consumer needs, XRP. And when you're investing in a cryptocurrency that has real-world use case, real-world utility, you know your investment is safe. You know you invested in the right cryptocurrency when you got into crypto. It's just a matter of time. You just stay patient. But if you want to know the actual timeline when XRP is going to move, just take a look at what's going on in the world. Because those events are all leading up to something bigger. With that said, I'm going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you watching my videos. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.